Hi, welcome to this presentation video where we're going to talk to you a little about the interpretation and use of temperature control strips or temperature test strips which are usually embedded onto the sides of uh, drug testing collection cups or integrated cups. Now what you've got in front of you here we're, we're showing you are two different designs of uh, integrated drug test cup available from UK Drug Testing and on both of them you'll see these black uh, liquid crystal temperature check strips. Now these are located on the, the lower section of the, uh, the cup. This one you'll see the minimum urine level indicated by the level there just over the, uh, the top of the urine uh, test strip. And on the integrated split key cup you'll see the minimum urine level is much higher up the cup although this is a lower volume total uh, design so although the urine sample looks to be much greater on that it actually is only a few mils more. Now if we move to the liquid crystal displays you'll see both these currently because there's no uh, fluid in these are completely black and what will occur with both of them once uh, liquid is added to them is they will respond to the temperature and we're looking for uh, a sample that is in the range from 32 up to 38 degrees. Now normal body temperature on a freshly produced sample that comes out of the body should be stored at 37 degrees in the bladder. So as soon as it hits this cup you can expect some natural cooling and there's obviously some delay in it being passed to the examiner for them to check on the uh, temperature test strip. But you are expecting it to give a green coloration on that band at around, if we look at the bottom scale, you've got in centigrade from 32 up to 38 on both test strips and on the top uh, is an equivalent Fahrenheit scale from 92 to 100. So the urine temperature for a freshly produced unadulterated undiluted sample that's come from a bladder should give you the green discoloration somewhere in the range between 32 and 37. If it's above 37 it suggests it's been tampered with with uh, some additional heat being put in from a hot water supply and if it's below 32, again, it's very suspicious that it may have either been diluted with cold water out of the cistern, out of the toilet, or out of a tap, or that the urine sample that's been put in there has not come from the bladder fresh, i.e. it's probably been produced earlier, bagged, and substituted into the cup, uh, and it's very difficult for them unless it's been packed around the body to, to get the temperature exactly right. So this is part of your chain of custody in examining your sample to check that what you're about to run the drug screen on is at the right expected temperature for freshly, freshly produced urine that's been put into one of these cups. And that is the purpose of the, the temperature test strips. Uh, in terms of your chain of custody checks before you uh, record the drug test. So there you have it, a little bit of advice on what they're for, what they look like and why the temperature range is in that range. Can it be as low as 32, 33? Should you be suspicious that it's not at 37? No, because you do get some natural cooling with it going into the vessel and again that will be dependent on the size of the vessel and the, the volume of the sample. So anywhere between 32 and 37 should be accepted and the drug test proceed.